What's up? What's up, guys? What's up, YouTube? What's up, Cyril? You what's up, wherever you're watching me from, bro? Bro, I just want to say I'm tired with this, with the lies of the police, okay? BBC reports on LJ's um, saga, okay, by Uma Ufufana. And, bro, the ARG. What is stated is totally different from what is on their press release. Okay? Now, I just got to realize that most of these police officers, they're finding news online. News online. Okay, bro, let me tell you. What you're about to listen to is a police officer saying the reason why they cut off LJ said is because LJ had wanted to commit suicide by strangling himself with his red blood. And yesterday, I don't know if some of you guys watched the video that I posted yesterday, right? And I kind of know his press release and all the police thing. When I made mention of uh, an individual on Facebook that was saying, likely, the reason why Salon police might um might have said okay let's cut off the air of LJ is because maybe he had wanted to uh, to strangle himself and bro that is exactly what they said that is exactly the justification they they use you get me and which is so fake so so fake and now they are saying because of robbery and all that. But you guys just listen. I'm just tired with how annoying some of these police officers are. You can boldly tell from this interview they are good police officers and they are bad police officers. And these bad poli uh, police officers, they're supposed to weed them out of the police force. Cho to be honest. You get me? I want you guys to listen to them. And peace out, man. For the updates right now, this is LJ. Okay, in cards, he's still alive. He's not dead. He's alive. I've had so many people requesting to know if he's alive. He's alive. He's not dead. They are still in court. They have gone to the Supreme Court today. So, we hope for the best. You get Yesterday, they granted no bail. So, we hope for today. So, anything I'll let you, I'll keep you guys posted. Peace out. AJ, one of the country's most popular and controversial music stars. Here's Umar Ufofana to tell us more. I just want to live my life oh, yeah. I just want my freedom Al Haji Amadouba, better known as L.A.J. No better time for him than now for these lyrics The hip-hop artist was arrested on the 12th of June on allegations of robbery He was taken to Benghazi, a detention facility at the headquarters of the police paramilitary wing his family and the country's Human Rights Commission have all been denied access to him amid allegations that he had been tortured and his cascading dreadlocks shaved off. The Inspector General of Police, Ambrose Savula, says his officers have done no wrong. He is held in police custody as a result of crime he allegedly committed, that is a robbery. He went to a filling station to purchase gas he said they have delayed him. They pumped the gas and he snatched the bag from the uh, pump attendant, gave him massless beating, jumped into his vehicle and drove off. He is alleged to have been tortured, his hair shaved off. Yes, his hair was cut off. That's part of our SOP. The standard operating procedure? Sure, that's it. Because one, for the hygiene of the place. He thought he's been arrested unjustly, so he was using his ear to strangle himself. Was he? Ah, yes, he was. He had wanted to get himself killed. That was not contained in the police press release issued over the weekend. Ah, yeah, the press release was saying this, uh, the SOP and some other reasons. 
This is the truth, nothing but the truth. LAJ was due in court today. While 12 others arrested over his matter were in the dock, he was nowhere to be seen. His lawyer, Madiu C.C., looked bewildered when I asked him about his client's condition. I only saw him last on, um, on Tuesday, so at this point I cannot say. Why not? Why haven't you gone to see him? Well, then they prevented us from seeing him. Who did? Prevented by the police officers. When I saw him, I, his appearance was completely different from the LJ I used to know. What did he tell you about this condition under which he was being kept? Solitary confinement, no food, background. We are actually restricting us from getting detailed discussion with him. The police allege that he attempted to commit suicide using his long dreadlocks. Did he tell you that or what did he tell you? Not at all, not at all. I, I never received that instruction from him. That's, that's I mean, um, it's like um, his own, um, that's his brand. Are you concerned about his well-being? Sure. Then the treatment of LAJ. Michael Charles is their spokesman. It is unacceptable, it is inhuman, and we have to make it very clear that we cannot sit by as an institution like this to see people's rights violated. It is important for the police to know that the constitution exists and the police need to do something about their operations. This is not the first time we have heard of police brutality against civilians. It is notorious and uh, something has to be done about it. The police say that um, they shaved off his, his dreadlocks because he attempted to strangle himself. We have no way to verify that. And uh, you should begin to question yourself whether LAJ will have any Outrage on social media over the matter. In a poignant reaction, the country's leading folk singer, Fantasy, has shaved off her 10 feet long dreadlocks, which she had nurtured for 15 years. They don't beat me for you. They kill me for Alleged you. police brutality has been in this country for generations. But as one old man told me in court today, this latest one conjures up memories of the 1980s, the height of it all. And that was the voice of Boss L.A.J., top Sierra Leonean musician who's currently being held by police who have admitted cutting off the artist's massive dreadlocks. And we welcome your views on that story and indeed any other story you hear on Focus on Africa. Search us out on our Facebook page, BBC News Africa. A quick recap of some of the African news stories. A Chinese man wanted by the Malawian authorities following a BBC investigation has been arrested in neighboring 